Yo, what's up, guys? This is Tim from Test Dummy. Welcome back to our test automation for beginner series. We're on tutorial number five, looking at the Python programming language in conjunction with Selenium WebDriver. We're taking our time, get used to Python, then we're going to get on Selenium WebDriver. Anyway, hope everybody's doing good. Salute to all our military folks out there and everybody around the world doing the right thing in life. Today, we want to talk about data types. No hype, baby data types this is gonna be killer man it's gonna be a blast so let's jump right into it so what I want to show you guys here again if you haven't subscribed to the video please I want to encourage you subscribe here testdemi.com check out tutorial video number one through four so you can catch up we're building these foundation building blocks and it's imperative that you're a part of each and every video so you can actually get a good thorough grounding and understanding to what's next all right let's go so I'm gonna bring up my <clears throat> PyCharm IDE here and if you can notice yeah, I created a new file if you want to learn how to create a file or a Python uh, file just go to you know right click on your folder your Python package in our case we have test demi underscore TA which stands for test automation right click go to new go down to where it says Python file and just create your new file name you just say new file whatever you want to call it right um, but a Python convention is you always want to make sure uh, your file names begin with a lowercase and if you have uh, a, a separate name of uh, two different uh, words, you don't want to have new under, new space file. You can just use the underscore uh, new file, um, things of that nature. When we when we get to the vari variable portion of the videos, we're going to talk about some variable roles and some conventions within Python that you can go ahead and uh, implement in your code as you write code so you can actually be a very good stellar test automation engineer. Okay, so just do that and click OK, and it will create your file like this. Uh, test data <clears throat> data types that py so I'm going to do something called comments I want you to um, in my case windows I'm going to hit down shift and the uh, uh, double quotation three times and what it's going to do it actually doubled it and made it six if I hit enter what it does gives me the opportunity or the ability uh, to create comments so we're going to say this I'm just going to leave comments for you guys uh, in case you ever want to go back and reference this or even for myself this tutorial is for data types data types within Python so the thing about these comments uh, when Python interpreters run it it's going to actually ignore uh, this comments field okay it's for data types within uh, Python within Python okay all right let's get our spelling right okay so what what, what we're going to do here uh, let's go back to our print command right so the first one we're going to do is we're going to say I'm going to do a pound and this is a uh, integer print type so there are a variety of different uh, data types one is called integer or whole numbers so integer is like a whole number and let's see here it's going to be whole numbers all right all right integer whole numbers all right so let's do uh, print and an example of a whole number for example is one and if I go ahead and uh, you know run it here within my command line terminal you know you see it, ret it returned one here right uh, let's do something more cool let's do print and there's this uh, function within Python or command called type and when you do the type command you do open and close parentheses and you type any kind of data type it will tell you the type of the type of the type of data type that you're actually working with so let's do the whole number 34 right and let's run it and you can see it tells us here uh, it belongs to the class integer. We're going to talk about classes and objects some other time in some advanced tutorials here. But just for now, follow along because we want to talk about these different data types. And it's talking about here the integer, I-N-T, which is the data type. So let's look at another data. Uh, that's the integer data type. Uh, and again, with integers, you can do a variety of things. For example, you can do a, a variety of math computations. You can do 34. Actually, let's do this. Let's do 4. Um, four times four all right actually let's do four let's do this okay no let's do four. I'm sorry guys <laughs> four times four pardon me I'm just I have a lot of things I'm just trying to do all at once in my mind I always get excited doing this uh, and you can see it does 16 all right so that's one computation let's make some space uh, within our code you can just do something like this uh, pardon me and this is just so our uh, output is more readable right all right so let's do uh, print we're still working with the integer data tab let's do um, uh, let's do nine 
and you're going to do the uh, asterisk twice, which is the exponential uh, operator. And what that does, it says uh, 9 to whatever power you give it. So, for example, uh, if you say 9 to the second power, it's going to do 9 times 9, which should give us 81. Okay, it's going to be like the square root. Or you can do 9 times 3. Oh, is 9 times 81? Yeah, it should be. Yeah, I would do 9 times 3. I can't remember what the math is. Let's see what it is. You see, great thing about Python, uh, guys, is that Python is a good programming language. We have a lot of... Um, uh, if you're doing things like with data science or math computations or anything that has to do with like medical and NASA, that has a lot, that a lot to do with a lot of numbers and calculation and number crunching, uh, Python is a great programming language to use. Okay, uh, so let's just run this now and let's see here. Uh, okay, well, so yeah, 9 to the 3rd here uh, uh, is uh, 729. We can see, let's see here. To uh, you can see it's 81, like I mentioned there. Okay, all right. So uh, what else here? Uh, let's see. So that's the uh, integer. Let's do something else here. Uh, we're gonna do now. We're gonna do what's called strings. All right, this is the string, which are grouping of characters within Python. Characters within Python. Characters within Python okay so let's do that so let me show you an example of a string an example of a string is like what we did earlier when we did print when we did print uh, hello hello world so every, everything when you're doing a string everything that's uh, within these quotations right this uh, uh, double quotes here open and close double quotes uh, Python considers that a string so it can be like a single character like uh, for example, the letter H, or it can be an actual entire group of words like hello world, a sentence, or whatever it, can, whatever it might be. Whenever Python sees the open and close, in this case, double quotations or perhaps single quotation, it knows it's a string uh, type. So let's uh, let's do this here, right? So even this thing I'm using as a demarcation, right? Uh, Python knows that everything within this uh, open and close uh, quotation marks, it's a string. So Let's see here. And if you notice, this prints uh, hello, hello world uh, as a string type. So I want you guys to practice this as much as you can, right? Uh, let's go back to what we did earlier with um, the integer data type or the whole number. Uh, let's type in a uh, type. And let's type in, uh, let's see, let's put in uh, hello, hello world, right? And what it's going to do, can you guess? Pause, pause the video. What, what do you think it's going to be returned here when we do print? Uh, put it within the parentheses, open and close type, open and close parentheses, and hello world within some quotation. What do you think the output is going to be? Yes? Okay. Let's go ahead and jump into it. So the output is, right, you can see here, class string, right? So that's a string class. And this is important to know because when we begin to build the building blocks and we get to the test automation part using Selenium, it's important that you know the different data types within Python. There's a string we've looked at. We looked at the integer. And now let's look at another one. And it's... Uh, other data type actually before we jump into that uh, let me show you one more thing right you can do double quotations like this hello world right or you can do just single quotations right you can do a single like this hello world and it's the same thing all right let me do this so we can see the demarcation uh, let's see let's do hello world uh, with single quotes let me just type that in with single quotes and let's do here uh, we'll do hello world with double quotes just so you can see the difference okay all right i hope you guys are following along let me run my command and you can see it here hello world with single quotes which correlates to this particular line of code and hello world with double quotes which correlates uh with this line of code and again like i mentioned earlier guys if you guys are not used to uh running with the terminal here go to view tools windows and go to terminal and it'll give you this output i'm doing it you can just actually um run the code directly from the terminal here as opposed to um, right click in and uh, do a run data type. So it means it's more efficient, it's more professional uh, as an automation developer that you want to get to. Let's look at one more, uh, two more data types here. Uh, let's go ahead and clear. Uh, actually, we can leave this, that's fine. Let's look at another data type. Let me uh, copy this. Uh, and this again, this pound here is for telling Python to ignore everything that's in here, but it's a good uh, for our program because one good thing about coding is you have to keep in mind, everyone. Is that programming is all about being able to read and write the
the language. So, um, so the more you have comments, it's easier for other developers to be able to come back and read your code. The great programmers always comment their code, so it's easy, easier for anyone to uh, pick up and learn. Uh, not necessarily don't be able to follow and read their code. Or if you come back in like six, ten months, you be able to know what you exactly you were doing and you're not lost, right? It's so much easier when you actually comment it. All right, let's look at another data type here. This is going to be a float. The floating numbers. Uh, it's going to be, oh, pardon, float. Uh, this is going to be like decimal points. All right, so these are decimal points, all right, within Python. All right, let's look at a few here. So let's do the same thing. Let's do print. Let's do type. And I'm going to, what's it? Uh, let's do 3.14. And let's go ahead and run that. And that's going to give us, you see, the data type here is float. Okay. Uh, let's, so that's your floating point type number type. Let's look at another one. Let's say print and let's make it a little more cool. Let's say 5.2 uh, times 10.79. I'm just making up some numbers, right? And it's going to print actual floating point. Uh, we're computating the 5.2 which is considered this part of, uh, we're going to talk about expressions later, but 5.2 is the operand. Um, this asterisk here, or the multiplication symbol, is your operator, and the 10.79 is considered the other operand. So you're multiplying this operand times this particular operand, uh, and the asterisk in the middle of the multiplication symbol is the operator, and this whole thing is considered an expression. So Python now uses the print function to go back and evaluate this entire expression. So when we run it, we should be able to get our results in exceeds 56.108. So that's your floating point uh, data type. Let's look at the final one here so we can now wrap up this video. Uh, but I want you guys to go back and practice this as much as you want to, as much as you can so you can get better. It's all about practicing. And the final one is called Boolean, not Boolean, okay? So Boolean is true or false within uh, Python. So with this, with computer language, uh, machine learning, a lot of times, with binary, on a binary level, when it comes to uh, machine learning or machine language or computer language that a computer understands, or computer science, if you will, pardon me, it's normally 0 or 1, right? The bits 0 or 1. Uh, same thing with Boolean. It's either um, 0 or 1, for example, a light switch is either on or off. So it's either two values. You either have true or false when it comes to Boolean. It's either true or false or your only values. Or your only values, okay? Are your only values uh, within Python? So let's look at this. All right. So uh, let's do print. Let's do type. Um, uh, let's just type in true, right? So that's what I mentioned. You can only have true or false. So what do you think the response is going to be? What do you think the uh, is this is going to evaluate to this particular command? All right. Pause the video. What do you think? Uh, 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 uh. All right. Uh, let's jump into it. Right. So you see, evaluates to bool, right? Actually, let's do this. Uh, just make it easier. Just for readability sake. All right, just do that again. You can see evaluates to bool. The bool is the actual, you know, the B-O-O-O. B-O-O-L is just a short form uh, for the Boolean data type. Right, another thing you can do here is, uh, let's see here. You can actually print, uh, and Boolean, when you're looking at Boolean also, zero correlates to false and one correlates to true so if we do boolean and we put in zero right what do you, what do you guys think is going to evaluate so i just gave you the answer um and it's going to evaluate to false right uh, if i put in anything other than uh zero so every other number besides zero always evaluates to true so if i put in one here it's going to evaluate to it's going to evaluate to one i can put any number and i can put let's say 15 uh, yeah it's going to evaluate to one uh true also right everything besides zero evaluates to one when you're looking at the boolean data type so boolean is great it's pretty easy you either have true or false like i said you can just do print uh you know bool uh you know put in zero here like you mentioned earlier and it's going to evaluate to false right uh, so that's uh, pretty much it from a data uh, data type standpoint. Uh, these these are the um, starting point, I will, if you will, of data types. We're going to look at some more advanced data types later, uh, but I don't want to uh, convolute uh, convolute or make it more complicated. So today we just pretty much looked at the basics, right, of the data types. Looking around integers, we looked at strings, which is the str. 
uh, short form. Uh, INTs for integers, we looked at float, uh, floating points, which are decimals, which is F-L-O-A-T, float. And we look at Booleans, boo, Boolean, right? Which are either true or false. So practice, ladies and gentlemen, practice, 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 get better, be the best, be great at what you do. And I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace, peace, peace. See you soon. Holla.